Hi, I'm Melissa from Sincerely Saturday. I'm here today to bring you a super easy handmade personalized stocking. Supplies you're going to need are fabric, scissors, hot glue, embroidery floss, a needle, and a pattern. First, print out and assemble your stocking template, letter template, and decor templates. Trace and cut out your stocking, making sure to cut one piece each for the front and the back. Pin together both halves in preparation for sewing. Starting at the top, use the blanket stitch around the perimeter, leaving the top open, of course. You gotta have somewhere to place all those goodies. Your stitch should end up looking a little something like this. Using a scrap piece of fabric, cut out your letters and decorations. Keeping in mind, some letters may need to be flipped and traced to be cut in reverse. This is to ensure that the fabric pile and designs all go in the same direction. For my half wreath design, cut a strip of fabric that is just a little bit taller than the letter when bent, and enough tiny little leaves to cover it completely. In just a moment, we'll be gluing it onto the cuff. Using your hot glue gun, glue down all those tiny little leaves. For the hanging tab, cut a strip of fabric 8 inches long by 2 inches wide, sewing the length of the tab using the same blanket stitch we did for the stocking. Sew the tab ends together and attach it to the inside seam of the stocking. Now on to the cuff. Measure and cut a piece of fabric 21 inches long and 11 inches wide. Fold the cuff in half and glue one edge over the other. Now it's time for your decorations. Apply your letter and decor using hot glue in the center of your cuff. Lay your cuff down over your stocking, making sure to center it. To attach the cuff, begin by gluing down one side at a time. After you've glued, push everything down to make sure it's adhered properly. Hold over the cuff to assess where it needs to be trimmed. Trim off the excess, leaving enough to tuck inside one another. Tuck the shorter end inside the longer end just to ensure it fits. Last step to finish our stocking is to add the back of the cuff. First, glue down the side you've decided to use as a pocket. Let that dry. Once it's dry, glue the other side down making sure to add glue to the inside of the pocket on the bottom, tuck in the extra fabric and smooth it out so it looks nice and finished. Once that's dry, glue the top part down, smooth it out, and you are done. Thanks so much for watching. To find other great tutorials, visit SincerelySaturday.com.